Hey, what's up folks at home? I've been hard at work at my New Year's resolution to work more and make more. So I haven't been home much. So we're gonna make a beagle bone beagle feeder. Come on, look, you gotta stand up. Look, look this way. I'm not pushing you off. So let's open this box and see. So what exactly do we need? We'll need Seed Studios Beagle Bone Green Wireless Google IoT Kit. Within the kit, we'll use the Grove Cape, the Grove PIR sensor, the Grove push button, and the Grove OLED display. We'll also need a diode, a transistor, a 220 ohm resistor, a solenoid, a 12 volt power supply, a relay, and some other materials we'll get to later. Uh, this is our fancy device. When the PIR sensor detects your pet, it'll ask if he's hungry, but pets can't read. If your pet is hungry, it steps onto the platform, which activates a mechanism that allows food to fall down into the bowl. Couldn't you guys have actually gotten a beagle that actually does stuff? And then whenever food is dispensed, you should receive an email telling you that your pet is eaten. Seed Studios Beagle Bone Green Wireless is modeled after the is, is modeled after the original Beagle Bone Black, but has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This kit includes a fancy Grove cape that allows quick connection to all of our devices. The built-in Grove connectors easily connect to the cape and then to the components mini PCB. Each of the mini PC PCBs <laughs> Each of the mini PCBs are designed to function without any extra components. So forget about pull-up resistors or voltage dividers. He's a modeling dog, not an actor. It says it right here in the paperwork. First, let's plug our Grove connectors into the cape, which has 12 connectors and is divided into four sections. The first thing you'll want to do is plug the PIR sensor into its appropriate connection on the cape at GPIO 115. The push button will be its neighbor at GPIO 117. The OLED display will be plugged into any of the I squared C connectors. The code will automatically be able to detect where it is. You'll want to find a safe and convenient spot to place your beagle bone. Create a hinged platform and place the push button underneath the elevated side. When your pet steps on the platform, it'll push the button down. Just eat out of it once, come on. The PIR sensor should point in the most common direction for pet activity. There's a lot of P's. Proper height so your pet can, there's only two. When the PIR detects motion, the display will ask your pet if he's hungry. When he steps onto the platform, it'll tell him to enjoy. Is these reading dogs? We'll also need a solenoid that moves a platform allowing food to fall. And we'll use a relay circuit to control the 12 volt power that actuates the solenoid. What's up with all these names? Beagle bone, raspberry pie. I should make something called like a apple terrier. We'll have to access the GPIO via the headers on the side of the cape. Place a 220 ohm current limiting resistor between GPIO 51 and the base of our transistor. The 220 ohm resistor ensures that the proper amount of current flows to the base terminal. Typical NPN transistors need a base to emitter voltage of at least 0.6 volts to leave the cutoff state and allow current to flow from collector to emitter. You guys know the drill and this current actuates the solenoid. There's a lot of string and glue over everything. The emitter is tied to ground and the circuit connected to the collector consists of a relay and a diode. When the transistor is not in cutoff, the current flows from the power supply through the coil to ground. Hal, come on. Is he done with hair and makeup? The diode, often called a flyback diode, protects the transistor from harmful voltage spikes. The orientation of the diode is critical. During normal operation, it looks like an open circuit, but when the transistor turns off and interrupts current flow, it provides a discharge path for the gradually decaying current generated by the relay coil, which is essentially an inductor. Lots of words. The BeagleBones 5 volt power supply is used to supply current to the relay coil. The solenoid is powered by a separate 12 volt power supply. We will want to use the common and normally open pins so that when the transistor turns on, the relay switches from open to closed and thus powering the solenoid. Current flows from, current flows through the current. With the circuit built, mount the solenoid in a piece of cardboard in a way that will allow food to fall into the bowl. I have a horizontal mechanism here and then the food falls down a chute into the bowl. Down the food chute. When the button is pressed, not only does it tell your pet to enjoy its meal, but the transistor energizes the relay, which in turn actuates the solenoid. The BeagleBone sends an email to you a no notifying 
The beagle bone, the beagle bone sends an email to you notifying when your pet is eating. It seems to work better as a treat dispenser, so we'll get it filled with some treats. Wait for it. 